Tag be strong. We are happy to see you watching our videos. We believe you are getting blessed by them. We have faith in our heart that this broadcast will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. By the grace of God, I want to speak to us on what I've titled Rest or Be Rested. Rest or Be Rested. Join me in the book of Genesis. And from there, we'll see the importance of rest to our body, to our spirit, to our soul. Join me in the book of Genesis chapter 2. I'll read the first three verses. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Thus the heavens and the heads were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Amen. In verse 2 and verse 3, it was repeated that God rested from his work. God rested from his work. God rested from his work. Not because he needed to rest, but he needed to establish a principle to us that we should rest. The Bible makes us to know that God is omnipotent, all-powerful God. I'm very sure and convinced in my heart that God did not need rest. God did not require rest. But God had to rest so that he would, he would be able to teach us to rest. And listen to me, brethren. Many in our days are not resting. That is why many are being put to rest. Listen again. Many are not resting. That is why many are being put to rest. You see, nowadays people brag about the, the hours they spend working. It's good to be hard working, but your body needs rest. The other day I was talking to someone and the person was telling me how he works 14 hours a day. I was so shocked. I was asking the person, which day of the week do you rest? He said he does not rest. He goes to work every day and he sleeps at night. That the sleep at night is sufficient for his rest. You see, the work system that designed 30 working vacation days in a year, they know what they are doing. Your body needs a time where you shut down you rest from all your struggles, all your stress, and you, you re-engineer your body. You, you, you heal from within just by resting and being at peace. If you are not resting, you are on a race to be rested. Because whether you want it or not, one day that body that is carrying all that stress will shut down. And only the mercies of God will be able to bring you back up if that body shuts down. Now, while I'm talking about rest, some of the things that came to my heart why people are not resting is some of us have given ourselves the assignment God did not give us. So if you are running a race that God has not planned for you, it's high time you quit that race. Even in the Christendom, we are, there's a competitive race between brethren, between churches, between ministries. You see, we are all called to different people for different offices in the body of Christ. If God has called you to be a teacher, teach. Don't mind what people say that you are not performing miracles. That is not your calling. And if God has called you to be an apostle, and the working of miracles is working in your ministry, and you lack the teaching grace, don't kill yourself. You see, 
there is no man on earth that has the embodiment of all the graces of the five offices. Once in a while, men operate in diverse kind of offices and they have their dominant office and they have the temporary ones they are operating. Why are you giving yourself such a hard work that you want to be respected in all the offices of the kingdom? That is not supposed to be your pursuit. Your pursuit should be that the office that God has ordained you to be, you utilize it to the utmost that the grace of God has been released upon you too. Not that, ah, now people are opening churches. Means I want to open church. People are opening branches. Means I want to open branch. Even among church members, now, ah, ah, that brother is dressing well. I want to dress like him. It's good to aspire good things, but take time and determine in your heart, is it what God wants for me? If everybody is traveling and God does, did not ordain you to travel, if you travel, you, it will be like you are going from the fry pan to fire. So, brethren, in all your pursuits in life, I like to aspire for greater things. I refuse to be contented with mediocrity, but notwithstanding, I will give my body rest. Rest that is required, adequate rest. You know, sometimes if you are too hard working and you are too busy, it looks as if it's a sin for you to now rest because your mentality and your attitude to your body has degenerated to a state that you think that your body does not deserve rest. Your body deserves rest. Your mind deserves rest. Your spirit deserves rest. It's not all the time that you'll be fasting. It's not all the time that you'll be holding VG. And it's not all the time you'll be preaching. There are some times you are just relaxing. You are just relaxed. And it's not a sin for you to tell people that I'm not doing any work today. I'm just relaxing. It's not a sin to relax. But nowadays, some men of God are afraid to tell their church members, oh, I'm sorry, I won't be available on these days because I will be resting on that day. You see, the only person that died for the sins of the world is Jesus. We do not require any other person to die for us. But if you decide to die, your death will not save anybody. But your death will just mean someone has decided to go to heaven earlier than is expected for him. I pray that God will borrow, will grant us wisdom to be able to recognize when our body requires rest and grant us the grace to give our body sufficient rest so that we will truly fulfill our days, we will truly fulfill our calling and we will truly fulfill our destiny. Because nowadays, there are many other things that are killing people untimely. But one of the major factors why men, women of God, people in church, people abroad are dying suddenly and unexpectedly is the issue of rest. Many of them are not resting and this is causing terminal diseases in their body and they are not aware of it. I believe you have been blessed by that word. Close your eyes and let us pray. Father, we thank you for this word. We have heard that our body requires rest. Lord, we pray that as many that have been laboring in whatever aspect of their life, in their career, in their spiritual work with you, Father, we pray right now that you grant them the grace and the knowledge to take the required rest that their body need to be able to carry on for the journey of their lives. As many that are sick, Lord, heal them. As many that ignorance is taken to an holy grave, Father, deliver them from this ignorance in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver your church from sudden death. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. If you have been blessed by that word, I want to encourage you to do the work of an evangelist. Share our video on your page. Share it on your status. And as you do so, God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Remember, this broadcast has been brought to you by MFM Valin. It's our weekly online broadcast. We've called it Be Strong. We pull it out of the scriptures, Ephesians 6 verse 10, that says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. 
I'm your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Pastor Tunde Aulobun. God bless you and see you next week. Bye. Lord, in his word.